What if we change perspective on what we feel, what we imagine, what we do, and what we share? What if we gain a broader perspective on how we live, our communities, our parks, are parts of the cities that can become parks. What if we gain a broader perspective on the cities of the future? What if we gain a cosmic perspective? Inspiring change is our responsibility beyond the project that we just create. So I brought today five points that I want to share with you that I strongly believe have a profound way of changing how we think about our problems. The first one is passion. Passion for creating meaningful connection. Unlike a vase that breaks and shudder and ends its life cycle, we actually shape our future by the experience that we take on ourselves. And when we feel like that, we embrace the challenges that we go through. Transformation, sometimes metaphorical, like the vase, sometimes physical, like this chair. Why to let our guests sit on the chair that we're not proud of? The chair that we actually put in the closet as soon as they leave. What if instead we let them sit on the art piece? When we were invited to think about Central Park of Istanbul, a city that doesn't have a central park, we realized that we need to create a love relationship between nature and people. If you're not exposed to nature, you're afraid of nature. So how we can create an environment that is at first familiar, at first looks like an urban grid, and slowly evolves and transform into places where you can experience nature in different ways. My second point is about a comprehensive approach. Don't limit your creativity to speciality. And this is the fundamental reason why we practice design comprehensively. The first example is a project that first we were not invited to. The client said, Drew, your practice is too small for this project. We have a 1.2 kilometer of Bosphorus front right in front of the old city and we need to solve the cruise ship terminal needs that have to stay on that side, but is actually sitting on the most valuable piece of land of the city. We realize that solving this problem through a product design challenge is what we need to do. How do we make the entire cruise ship terminal disappear? How can we basically tack all of the needs of the cruise ship terminal below sea level. This is going to be the first cruise ship terminal that is completely below sea level. The boardwalk opens up, reveals a hydraulic gangways that take the passengers from the ships directly straight to the basement level. And by doing that, opening the entire neighborhood to the public, opening the entire neighborhood for pedestrians, so all the vehicular circulation, all the needs of the terminals are going below sea level. And this is an example of how creativity across different disciplines, a product design that can solve a master planning challenge. We have to collaborate to innovate. We need to collaborate with people that really know what they're doing so we can stay the childish creators that are curious. This is our very first architectural project when the client came to us and said, we want to create the most luxurious homes on this island, carte blanche. What would you do? So I thought the Persian Gulf is the place that I know for carpet making. Why don't we shove all the architecture underneath this massive carpet of vegetation? Originally, this project was intended to be $154 million worth of real estate. Because of this carpet approach that became the idea that governs this project, the client actually sold $976 million worth of real estate in less than 72 hours. 
Invest in experimenting. This is something that is very important for me in my own practice, and it's something that I encourage all of our clients to do all the time. When Tumi invited us after the success of the collection to think of their retail store, they asked us to design their store. We said, well, we want to really change your retail experience overall. We want to gain a bigger perspective. So we created all kinds of infographics, and we asked, what if we run a small experiment in three stores? We take the worst 20% of the sales and take them out. They called us after a month and said you wouldn't believe. In all three stores, we sold 60% more on average. So this is how we translate it into the store. Floor, walls, and tables. This is the first Tumi store with our design. Now they're already enrolled more than 60 stores around the world that is doing a lot better than the previous design. My last point is about changing perspective. Almost 50 years ago, we landed on the moon. Every astronaut that landed on the moon said the exact same thing. If every person in the universe would gain this perspective, it will change us as people. Can we try and gain that perspective and look back at ourselves from here? July 20th, 2019 is when we're going to celebrate 50 years anniversary, and this is when we are planning to open an art installation that tries to do that, changing perspective. What if we bring a delegation of best companies in the world to show how they show respect? for our planet? How do we want to be remembered as a generation, as the one that cut all the forests in the world and polluted the ocean? Or do we want to take responsibility and actually think about what respect means? So now you understand what I do. We help company change perspective. Thank you very much.